many things throughout in our entire career. Uh, 12 years ago, we started out street performing on the streets of New York City, where we were born and raised. And at that time, Toronto, at that time, every single person around us said this. You know, they said, that's cute. You know, that's cute. They'll move on from that. So we started to write songs. You see, we took the money we made street performing. We went back to our living room. We bought everything you see here, anything to make music. We brought it back to the living room. We started writing songs there. And again, Toronto, again, everyone around us said this. They said, that's a hobby. You know, that's a hobby. They'll find their real dream soon. So for eight years, every single day, we worked very, very hard on our hobby. That's when we got discovered. You see, our very first single was a song called I'm Ready. And that song actually ended up going platinum. However, no one was coming to our shows. I mean, no one. I think the first time we played Toronto, we played for like 12 people. Seriously. So we started getting labeled as a one-hit wonder. And you see, that's when we really got to work. We went back to our parents' living room and we started writing songs with topics that people weren't really talking about in music. And frankly, that's pretty difficult to do. So for three years, we worked very hard on that. And eventually, we wrote our album called The Click. Now, before The Click came out, Toronto, we got a ton of reception from people in the music industry. And every single one of them said this. They said, guys, do not release this album. This is too weird, and no one is going to get it. Am I ready for love, or maybe just a man? 